Hey guys, it's Liz and we are flipping things. And today we're talking about eBay and just going through some of the sales I've had recently. Um, some of the ones maybe that surprised me a little bit and some of the ones that took forever to move, but finally sold. So stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. I am at 98 subscribers. I only need two more and I'm going to be at 100. Oh, did you see my kid in the back? <laughs> I only need two more subscribers and I'll be at 100, which is like amazing and awesome. And I'm excited. And... Today, we're gonna to talk about some eBay sales I've had recently and how that is going. So eBay's been going good, it's slow and steady for me. Um, I, I'll tell you where I'm failing, I'm just not listing frequently enough. I'm working like really hard on Amazon. I am shipping stuff in and sourcing for Amazon. And then I'm looking at the um, affiliate marketing. So I've been spending time like, I bought a domain, a domain name and hosting and I'm gonna build up a, a website so I have like all these other things and I'm just not listing enough I have plenty to list I believe it's called a death pile and I have one I'm just not listing enough and that's okay it's not great I need to stop but let's talk about some of the stuff that sold for me um in the last couple weeks um first and happy fall I believe let me look today is the first day of fall um, I'm in Buffalo, New York, and we went camping last weekend, and it was down in the low 40s overnight, and I'll tell you what, I was missing summer already, and it was still summer, <laughs> so, um, but this is kind of a fall item, so I'm not real surprised that it went, I kind of figured when I listed it that it was going to take some time, I am, this is so distracting, but, you know what, watch my kids practicing golf in the backyard, um, but <laughs> when I listed this, I kind of knew it might not move right away. Um, I picked it up, so here it is here. It is a big apple peeler, corer, and slicer. I picked it up at a garage sale, it was $3. Um, and it was in the box, still in the bag, like it clearly had not been used. It was opened, so I couldn't call it new, um, but it was essentially new. So I got it for $3 and it sold for $9. I'm not surprised, it's apple season, people are baking. I have an apple tree. There's apples everywhere. Um, so I was happy. I so bought it for three and I sold it for nine. That was kind of the going price for this specific brand. I thought it would be better. I did not look it up when I bought it at the garage sale. I was just like, oh, this is new. Go for it. Um, but I am also today going to add in. I don't typically do this, but I'm going to start because I track it. How long it actually took for these items to sell because I think that matters and that counts. So this one took 49 days to sell, um, but I'm good with it. They paid for shipping um, and to me, it's a fine profit. Am I like getting rich? No, but I love sales. I love the cha-ching that comes on my phone. I used to always have my phone on vibrate and now because of the eBay app, I always have it on sound just so I don't miss the cha-ching. <laughs> I don't know. I love that sound. It's like, whoo, something happened. All right. So next, um, I think I actually showed this in a thrift haul when I purchased it, but it is right here. You can see it. It's a Dr. Brophy's word jar. Um, it's from 1997 and the word on this jar is miracles. They apparently are all signed on the bottom and it was signed by the artist at the bottom. The issue with mine was I didn't know when I bought it. Um, they come with a cork top and this one did not have the cork top kind of a letdown when I got home and realized, but I bought it at my local Goodwill, um, for $3 and 99 cents and I sold it for 11 99. I'm really happy with that. Like to me, that's just fine considering that it was missing a kind of integral piece, <laughs> Um, and this one took 55 days to sell from the day I listed it. It sold 55 days later. So almost two months, kind of a long tail item, but it was not big. It didn't take up a lot of space. No big deal. Um, 
So I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy to turn $4 into 12, essentially. Up next is this right here. I was surprised at how long this one took to sell, actually. Um, so you can see it. It's a genuine Disney Parks Otterbox iPhone XS Max Enchanted Tiki Room case. And I picked this up retail arbitrage at TJ Maxx. So I paid $8 for it brand new at TJ Maxx. Um, and it sold for $21.99. Now, ironically, the day that it sold for the full price, I had this guy going back and forth with me with lowball offers, like super lowball. And I'd come back somewhere closer to where I wanted to be. Like I had it listed at $21.99 and I think he came in at like eight. And I was like, I came back at $19.99 and he came back at like 11. And there was this like back and forth and I was like, we're not gonna meet in the middle of this guy. And while this was happening, someone just swooped in and bought it at full price. And that was like totally justifying. It really was nice. Um, I was <laughs> felt bad, but happy at the same time. Because like if I had accepted one of those offers, I think it came all the way up to like 14. And I was like, mm, maybe I'm still making a profit. But no, it sold for full price, full asking price. And I was really happy, plus shipping. Um, this one did take 58 days to sell. So two months and I thought it would move faster because I don't know Disney, right? Like I feel like Disney should move, but I mean, it was tiny. It was super easy to ship. Um, no complaints, no complaints on this one. I wish I found more. I would have sat on those. They don't take up much space. Um, this is next. This is an, a Hydra Peak stainless steel insulated bottle. This was one that I actually bought by mistake. I bought it for my son who was starting a job and he needed a big water bottle. Um, and at the next store I went to after I purchased this, I found an even bigger one for cheaper, which I bought him. Um, so then I was like, well, I'm just gonna put it up for sale. And if I can like just get what I paid for it back, I'm good, right? Rather than return it. Um, because I think it might, if I remember right, it was on sale. And I don't know, I just, I don't like returning things if I don't have to. I don't know why. Um, so I paid $13 for this and I sold it for 18, which was more than I expected. I was pretty happy with that. I did throughout, it took 53 days to sell. And throughout that time, I had a lot of really low offers coming on it. Like it was listed, um, and people would, I, this was actually an offer. I think I had it listed for 20 and um, I took this offer of 18, but I had people come in at like 10 and there was a, several where I was gonna lose money on the deal and I was like, no, I, I can't go there. Like I had to be a little pickier because I had bought this one at retail price accidentally. So I'm happy, it was kind of big and um, I'm happy to have it out of my house, so bye. Next is, um, this one took the longest to sell. So I haven't been doing a lot with clothes. I find clothes difficult because I guess I just don't really know the brands that are, are popular for reselling. Um, I don't have like a mannequin to take pictures with. Like, I don't know. I, I've just been avoiding clothes lately, which they're really easy to ship. They're super light. Like I'm, I should do more of it, but I don't. But this was something, um, you can see it right here. I picked up solely because of the brand. So every YouTube channel is like, if you see Untuck It, buy it, buy Untuck It. And I found this Untuck It women's blouse at the thrift store. Um, hold on. So everyone's like, buy the Untuck It brand. Oh my God, everything Untuck It sells. So I found it and I was like, I had not seen it in the wild before and I was like cool and I bought it it was five dollars which is more than I like to spend on clothes at the thrift store um but it's a nice black work blouse and I was like this is fine um I don't know if it was the shirt I got or if it's just that untuck it is really a men's brand but this shirt I paid five for it I finally took an offer for eight after 69 days someone offered me eight and I was like it's yours take it <laughs> take it get it off my plate because it just, I mean, it had no views. It had nothing. I was shocked at like just how it just nothing. So I was really happy to be rid of it, to be totally honest. Like, 
yeah, not a big win on the Untuck It. I won't be going down that road again. So I don't know. If you find Untuck It and it's women's, maybe avoid it. Or look it up real close first. Because I probably didn't until I got home. I was just trusting the brand. And for me, it was a, it was a lose. And then the last little item, um, and I just wanted to talk about it because I... I did, I mentioned, I think I got um, a lot full of DVDs for free from my friend Eric, like hundreds of them, which I have not started to list yet. I also got like some Xbox 360s from him that I have not listed yet. Like I said, I have a death pile going on. Um, but I did go through the DVDs he sent me and pull out anything that was like new, still in the plastic and list those. And... This one is called Take the Lead. I've never seen it. Never even heard of it. Um, but it was brand new in the packaging. And so I paid zero and I sold it. It sold in six days for $8. And I was shocked. And as you know, I love the video games and DVDs because they're super easy to ship. You just throw them in a, a padded envelope and they're cheap to ship. And um, so it was $8 plus shipping and it sold in under a week and I was really happy. I was thrilled with that because, you know, can't beat it. So I am coming up on $2,000 in revenue on um, eBay for my like 90 day average. And I only started in Jan in July, in July. So we're talking about two and a half months. So I'm really happy with that. It's, I'm not doing $10,000 like some people, but I'm, I'm working my way up. I'm figuring out what sells. I'm getting really good at the shipping. Um, and so I'm like pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the way it's going. Now I just need to like get listing and get moving. So I'm happy with how eBay is going. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's up and down for me. It's slow and steady. It is not like, um, breaking down the house, but I still am under a hundred items listed. I can get myself to about 95 and I've got plenty <laughs> to get me there, but I'll get to like 95 and then stuff starts selling. Um, so I still haven't even broken a hundred items listed at one time. I'm going to try to do that this week. That is in my list of goals, along with working through this affiliate marketing, along with creating a website, um, and making YouTube videos. And I've got some stuff to ship into Amazon. Amazon has been awesome for me. I think today I'm at like almost $100 in sales. Um, now, if I could do that every day. I mean, living the dream over here, right? No, it's, that sales, not profit. Um, net profit is very different when you're talking about Amazon especially. So I'm on my way. I'm doing well. I hope you guys are doing well. I would love to hear in the comments. Um, like what's moving for you right now? Or like, are you preparing for Q4 in any way on eBay? Like, is there certain, should I be looking for holiday stuff or is it just gifts? I'm not sure. It's my first Q4. I'm excited to learn. So I hope, um, everybody's having a great day. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, maybe subscribe. It would be so awesome. I really want to get to a hundred. Um, maybe someday I'm going to have like tens of thousands of subscribers and I'm going to look back at this and be like, I'm so excited to get to a hundred. Like that might happen. Maybe a girl can dream. So I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and be, to, be just be good to each other. Bye.